There are 21 submachine guns in Call of Duty Mobile and for each submachine gun there are multiple skins. But what can possibly be the best skin for a given SMG? Today we're gonna find that and if I tell you about the criteria or the priority of selection, the main thing I have considered is the iron side because that's what really helps you in the game. And then of course we're gonna be looking at the appearance of the blueprint. So let's just start with the first submachine gun in the list that is the RUS. Formerly known as the AKS-74U, the RUS comes with 4 legendaries and loads of epic sand of now and the best skin i consider for the res is either one of these snoop dog legendaries but why not one specifically that is because both these skins comes with the same geometry they do come with the same iron sight so it does not make a huge difference when it comes to gameplay but when it comes to appearance the latest christmas theme legendary has more effects and it looks more like an advanced version of the previous legendaries similar kind of kill effect which are very unique and cannot be found in any of other legendaries and this iron sight is so special that it can be used not just in close ranges but in very long ranges and you still will not feel like it's hard to control and there is another skin that is worth mentioning that is the best epic skin for the RUS the RUS Black Knight skin this skin comes with an inbuilt red dot personally when I'm using this skin I would like to use this with a high mobility close range gunsmith because when it comes to long ranges the red dot feels more shakier and it's so hard to control compared to the legendary ones and obviously we cannot talk about the first two legendaries for the RUS because they are basically trash. Moving on to the second submachine gun in the list that is the Chikom. Sadly for Chikom we do not have any legendary skins but we have lots of epics mostly grindable ones but the best skin I consider for the Chikom is the Chikom CQB skin which was in a battle pass but still if you have the battle pass you may not have this skin because this was in a battle pass crate so this is a very rare skin in the game. The reason why it is the best is when you fully ADS it is the thinnest Chikom skin in the game. So the field of view you see is very high. The iron sight is also different from other Chikom skins but the field of view advantage is really going to help you. Moving on to the third submachine gun that is the PDW. For PDW we have two legendaries. The first one comes with the default iron sight but the second one the PDW battalion skin has a custom iron sight and also it has one of the coolest skill effects in the game that I haven't seen in any of other legendaries. Some of you guys do not like enemy type legendaries and you like military themed one so this one is for you. And I I personally find the iron sight so easy to control compared to any of other PDW skins in the game. The fourth submachine gun in the list is the Razorback. Razorback is more or less the same as the PDW. Up until recently, they changed the stats drastically. Although we have two legendaries for the Razorback, the Razorback Boreal Aegis comes with the best iron sight plus it has some cool features and extraordinary colors we do not see in any of other legendaries. One of the coolest things I see in this legendary is the iron sight changes its color based on the reactive stage and the iron sight is very easy to control as well compared to any of other Razorback skins. Then we have the MSMC which was a broken weapon at a time. For the MSMC we do have a legendary but sadly it's one of the worst because it has one of the worst iron sights plus the kill effect is also very basic. However the best skin for the MSMC is one of the epics that is called the MSMC scrap metal. The reason why I consider this the best is that it does not look like a MSMC and it does look more like a Pharaoh. You can even see burst with on it so maybe this is a mistake i don't know this could be a skin that is made for the payroll but we did get it for the msmc so you can clearly see how easy for me to control the recoil even in very long ranges with this epic msmc skin then we have hg40 it's true that we do have two legendaries for the hg40 but none of them really helped me when it comes to gameplay the only skin that made a huge difference when it comes to gameplay is the hg40 moon launch skin i really don't remember where did i get this skin but possibly this should be in a crate or a lucky box and this one comes with the best iron sight for the G40. It can be used in close range up to a very long range. It is also one of the decent looking epic skins because it does not have any animations, and not a lot of colors, it's just a basic military type epic skin. Moving on to Pero, we do have two legendaries, but the first one is more like an animated default Pero skin, while the second legendary for the Pero is substantially different from the original blueprint. This one has a pay to win iron sight in my opinion, but since Pero is a burst weapon, it cannot be really used used in long ranges can only be used in mostly close to mid range but within that range this is a beast and it also has a really cool kill effect then we move on to GKS for the GKS the GKS Wanderer has the best iron sight for the GKS it's not drastically different from any of other iron sights but still it makes a huge difference and the Tesseract type kill effect is one of my favorite kill effects in the game and at a time a lot of people use this gun because this was meta GKS can be also used in very long ranges so having a good iron sight makes a huge difference 
ones. Then we move on to Cordite where we have only one legendary and yes we do have an epic skin with a much sharp iron side but considering the fact that this comes with the kill effect and it is also legendary I would rather go with the Cordite Zero G skin as the best skin for the Cordite. And I never noticed but they have nerfed the kill effect. This was not the original kill effect for the Cordite. I don't know why they do that and it is totally unnecessary in my opinion. Then we move on to the QQ9 where we have four legendary skins and loads of epics even with some custom iron sides that are very unique to each other i would rather go with the qq9 albatross skin as the best skin because it has a single point iron side which is great in very close to long ranges one of the most unique kill effects they have ever released in the game some people also like the qq9 golden decree skin because it has a digital iron side but trust me when it comes to long ranges these digital iron sides are the worst i realized that recently so yeah that's why it is not the best skin for the qq9 for the fennec obviously the mythic fennec is the best because it has an inbuilt red dot and compared to the ghost ring default fennec this is like a huge advantage over your enemies and you can use this iron sight in very long ranges this is that good but however for some reason if you do not have the fennec ascender this game there is another fennec that can be used in long ranges this is an epic skin and it has an inbuilt holographic iron sight but compared to the mythic fennec this is so inferior in my opinion because when i use it i usually do not land shots perfectly maybe that i haven't used this blueprint more often but for me the fennec ascended is the best surprisingly we do have another skin that was from a battle pass as an honorable mention that is the fennec accuse executioner this one comes with no ghost ring and since fennec has a wide bullet spread accuracy plus a vertical recoil i do consider this skin as one of the coolest and easiest skin to be used as a fennec and most importantly this is not a pay to win skin like any of other skins this was just in the battle pass yeah you still pay but you pay very less recently i played a lot with this and i was quite impressed that this was in a battle pass trust me then we move on to the agr 556 out of the two legendaries the agr ripper comes with the best iron sight plus it has a special feature that when you go real close to the enemy you can melee them using the blades of this legendary skin but this is a very unpractical situation with real enemies you will never do this unless you have a call of duty go trust me the iron sight is also very easy to use from mid to long ranges and since agr also can be used as an assault rifle i believe this skin is the best one for it for the qxr we do have two legendaries but the qxr fossil fire is the easiest to control it does not have any weird defects that will affect your gameplay you will see some fire here and there but that is not going to be a disadvantage and you can laser through the map with this iron sight also i am a big fan of the kill effect that is worth mentioning for the pp19 bison we have three skins including christmas themed one but the second legendary for the pp19 bison the home brewed hex is the best for bison in my opinion it has a small single point iron sight but since pp19 bison doesn't come with a huge recoil and also it has a large magazine and it is one of the most versatile smgs in the game in that case having a simple iron sight is the key it is also a reactive skin and it has a custom geometry too for the mx9 it is obvious out of the three legendaries the heartless skins are the best because the iron sight is like the easiest to use with the mx9 i have used the mx9 a lot back in the day so i know how good this blueprint is for you if you miss the heartless skin you can even get the mx9 heartless prestige with some additional effects and colors i believe these two skins are the best for the mx9 and the kill effect is also unique one of the scariest then for the cbr4 the best skin is the recent cbr4 lattices which is a legendary that came out as part of the messy collaboration with call of duty mobile previously i did consider the cbr4 danger clause skin as the best because it has a digital iron sight but recently i realized that this skin is like unbeatable compared to that one the recoil is very controllable and you can use it in very long ranges and you will still feel like no recoil i don't know if that's a feature of this gun but damn this is so easy to use sadly cpr4 mythic cannot be considered as one of the best skins that is because cpr4 has a wide bullet spread accuracy so an inbuilt red dot is not really going to help it for the ppsh 41 the ppsh 41 combustion is the best one because it has one of the easiest iron sights to use and i'm a big fan of the color combination we have the geometry of this gun is so different from the other legendary ppsh and the cartridge remains of the gun comes from different places in these two legendaries that is more vertical when it comes to the ppsh combustion skin so it's not going to affect your field of view for the mac 10 we do have two legendaries we even got one recently however the mac 10 atomic star is the best because the iron sight is literally the best iron sight for the gun with the worst accuracy if you look at this gameplay you will realize that i use the 
this gun in very long ranges and it is unbelievable like you would say how it is even possible that is possible because of the cyan side. This is one of the submachine guns with the most vertical recoil, the worst bullet to spread accuracy, but still it's a beast in long ranges with this type of iron side. And the effect it has, the kill effect, I love this legendary a lot. Let me move on to the KSP-45, sadly KSP-45 is not a really good gun in ranked or in battle royale, however, if you compare the skins with the legendary skin is the best, obviously because it has a cool kill effect, and I'm a big fan of these colors, this iron side also can be used in long ranges, but since the gun isn't that great, you will not feel a difference. Then we move on to one of the most used submachine guns in the game that is the Switchblade X9. And you guys already know what's the best, that is the Switchblade X9 Neon Legend, the Mythic skin. Also considered as one of the best Mythics in the game. This comes with an inbuilt red dot, which will give you some extra advantage over the other Switchblade skins. Switchblade has a really good iron sight, so in close mid ranges, it's not going to make a huge difference. But when it comes to long ranges, with the high mobility the Switchblade has, you can laser your enemies. That is one of the key advantages I have seen with this mythic skin. Then the final SMG in the list is the Lapa SMG. We don't have a lot of skins for Lapa. However, it does come with one of the worst iron sights in the game. So definitely the legendary Lapa has the upper hand because it's just so easy to use and you can even use it in very long ranges. The only thing that helps back Lapa is the bullet velocity because the bullet velocity is kind of low compared to most of the SMGs. But surely they will buff it at some point and then we can find how the legendary Lapa King's Pride will shine over the other submachine guns. And that's the list of best skins for all 21 SMGs in Call of Duty Mobile. And if you think the list should be changed and if you want to add any skin as the best skin, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section because I would love to hear. And all the list of legendaries and epics that I have mentioned are in the description so make sure you check it out as well. And you can even be a member of my channel. Just go to my channel page and click on join. You will see all the offers I can give you. And that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you found this video helpful, please do a like make sure you subscribe and click the bell icon watch my other videos and i will see you guys in the next one